love and welcome to Modern Living with Bree. If you're new to the channel, hey, my name is Bree and welcome to the channel. I hope you stay for a while and if you do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to click the notification button right below so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And for all of my loyal subscribers, thank you so much for coming back for another video. Today, I have a treat for you guys. I will be doing several coffee table tablescapes for the spring. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hello, Bree Stylers. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, I'm Bree, and welcome to Modern Living with Bree, where I share DIYs, decorating and organization to keep my modern home comfortable and beautiful while providing ideas and inspiration for your home coming up for today. So before we get started with our coffee table styling, what I like to do, and it gives you a great starting base, is to look around the room where your coffee table is and look at the colors. What are you using? What kind of style that you have in your room? Is it modern? Is it tradition? Is it contemporary? You know, things of that nature. And that gives you a starting base of what kind of decor that you can use on your coffee table. And that's the same with color. Now since my coffee table is right next to these two chairs and this beautiful artwork on the wall, I am going to um, incorporate some black. Of course, we're gonna have white. And then I'm gonna incorporate some green. This coffee table is in a neutral color. So that means I can have any choice that I want as far as color. It is wide enough that I can use decor pieces in several sizes. They could be large, medium, or small pieces. The second shelf is very hard to decorate. So what I normally use is this black boat bow, which is very nice because it fills that horizontal space because it's only 22 inches or so long. And it's about maybe four inches high. So I love using this or something similar to this on the second shelf. Another thing that I can use that covers the space nicely are coffee table books. I think I can get as high as three, but I like using no more than two because then you can see the whole book surface. So um, this is a very large, large book. I love it because it's in black and it is about as long as that boat bowl and it's very heavy. <laughs> but I love using the um, coffee table books like this. And like I said, I don't normally stack it no higher than two books. We are going to get started with the first tablescape and this is a really easy one. It only has three footprints. So we're going to get started and then um, once I finish it, I'll talk about what I've done. Yeah. So this is tablescape number one. This is a really easy one. As you can see, it only has three footprint. We have the book as one, the vase as the second one, and then we have the decor box as a third footprint. Very easy to do. I started off with the coffee table books for those who um, never decorated a coffee table. Um, you can easily start off your 
coffee table with some coffee table books um, uh, that is very popular. And then in the center, start off with something tall. Um, we, you want some height there. So I start off with my vase. And then we have something a little lower. And, and that is the box with a planter that I created. And then you have all your levels covered. You have something low, high, and medium. Um, and I just put the, the boat bowl under the second shelf. So and this is coffee table number one. Okay, we're going to begin with our second tablescape. Now, this tablescape has two footprints, and um, it's a little bit simpler than the first, but it's pretty easy, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with this coffee table book from Tom Ford. I love using this because it's large and I can use it as a tray. So we're going to place that over here on the left-hand side. I'm going to use these two structures. I love these two pieces. Um, they're black and they're pretty large. So they will give us some height on the right hand side. And I normally put one straight and the other one, the smaller circle, is pointed toward the inside of the larger circle. And then we're going to take the top of a decor box and we're going to use this top as a riser. Now, I love this design on the top because it's given a lot of character over here, a lot of depth, and um, it is perfect as a riser. And then on the right side, we are going to use a flower uh, design on this side with this small, beautiful pot and some beautiful, vibrant green tulips and then lastly we have this gorgeous structure I just painted this structure it used to be gold but now I painted it white and black and we're gonna place that right on top of our riser yeah <laughs> Now I'm going to give you tablescape number three. We're starting with this beautiful vase from CB2. And we're going to put this over on the left hand side corner. I want this indention to show because it shows a lot of character along with these beautiful black and white stripes. So we're going to place that right there. Next, we are going to place this beautiful riser. I love the shape of it. So I give the design some depth and some character. So we're going to place that right about here. Coffee table book is um, filled with, uh, actually, 
empty pages, but it's just sharing different fonts of um, different ways how to, it's supposed to be Detroit in here. So this is a big, big mistake. <laughs> I'm going to have to um, send this back and get another one. But uh, for now, we're going to go ahead and use this one. Okay, and then next we are going to use this clear riser because I want to see the book, the black and white book, the print, what it says Detroit on here. I don't want to. And now we're going to use this coffee table book and we're going to place this on the book stand. And it has some beautiful pictures in here. I'm looking for something that has a lot of green in it and um, that one looks pretty good oh that one's nice too so we're gonna go with that because it has green black and white it goes with our theme and then we're going to use these nice little curves. I'm only going to use two of them this time. And we're going to place them right here front. And then lastly we have these beautiful green and white peonies that I got from Amazon. Now I have about four bundles of those. And that is it. I think that is very light, um, very pretty. I love the peonies. They have right a touch of green and white that um, bounces off of the pillows in the back there. And the black and white on the right sides bounces off the abstract wall art. And I think that looks gorgeous. Okay, everybody, let me know what you think about Tablescape number three. And if you like this Tablescape, let me know in the comments below. This is the last Tablescape, so I went ahead and give you guys a bonus. This is Tablescape number four, and we are going to go ahead and start with a black foundation. Put back this black Tom Ford book, and we're going to place this on the left hand side to start it off as our um, like I said our foundation and then we're starting with a white book and we're going to place that on top of the black book and basically what I'm building is a black and white um, book stack here here is the other black book that I'm going to use the Detroit book we're going to place that on top of the white one and then we have one more book and that is the black and white from Elements of Style. And we're going to place that last on the very top. So now we're going to start on the right hand side with this riser. And we're going to go ahead and put that on the right hand side. We're going to cut a corner it so the um, two sides are in a diagonal. And then we are going to add a set of vases. These two sets of vases were in a um, set alone. So these um, came from Amazon. And we're going to place the tall one in the back and the small one on the right-hand side. 
This is the last face that I purchased separately. I love the shape of this and we're going to place this on the left hand side on the riser. Now since we have all this black over here and a beautiful group together, we're going to add these beautiful green tulips and we're going to place them in each of the vases. Now the trick of this is to actually have each vase uh, floral arrangement a little different than the other. So this one in the back, we're going to have like it hanging on the side. And then there in the front, we're going to have it at different levels. And then at the last vase, since it has a very wide mouth, we're going to stack the tulips all on the same size. So it looks like a stack of beautiful tulips um, all in the same size in that vase. So I love the way they look. Each of them have different levels. It gives a character over here and it also gives you some eye candy and eye interest. And next we're going to place this beautiful horse statue right there in the center. I think I purchased this from at home and we're going to put that on a diagonal. Most of you know me. I love angles when I decorate. And lastly, we have this white knot um, structure that I purchased also from Amazon. And we're going to place that right on top of the stack of books. And that will complete our fourth tablescape. Let me know, guys, if you like this tablescape, put it in the comments below. Some of the things that I've shown you in this video will be in a Breeze Fabby Fine for the summer and that will be coming up very soon. So if you'd like to know more details, stay tuned for that. <music>